Okay, so good afternoon again, everyone. We're going to uh, just work the the audio by muting our respective microphones. Uh, we've not seen this problem before, but um, but thanks for your feedback and thank you for your help on that. So um, let me just check: are the slides are the slides visible for everyone? Yeah, okay, brilliant, thank you. Uh, let me see if I can make these up to full presentation mode. Okay, so so welcome to our, our, our webinar this afternoon, hosted by Expertise, and we're gonna introduce you to um, the Flash Start content and malware filter. And um, um, I'll just, progress to uh, my my first slide um, to introduce you to um, um, you know a bit about the company a bit about our customers um, um, so we are we are fortunate enough already to be represented in 97 countries um, uh, filtering to a wide range of uh, small, medium, uh, and several larger companies such as Vodafone and Tigos, you will you will see here. Um, we we work uh, very much down in the small and medium size of, of companies, and everything we sell is sold through um, uh, partners such as Expertise, who are our distributor for Greece. The um, um, the markets include uh, a wide range of uh, you know, schools, universities, small businesses of all types, um, uh, retailers, uh, banks, uh, airports, um, you know, you name it, we, ha we have some of them. And we'll bring into the presentation this afternoon some examples from that. But so far, we are, we're filtering around about, about 1.5 billion transactions per day, which makes us a medium-sized player, uh, not small. Uh, not one of the big guys. Um, we like to think of ourselves as young and hungry. Okay, so we hope you know you'll get to know us uh, and, and, and love us for that. Um, so Francesco, as you gathered, is the is the founder and the CEO. The business is about twelve years old now. Um, uh, we've gone through various evolutions in terms of. Uh, starting managing uh, as a service company ourselves, managing the um, the end user experience, and then progressing to develop firewalls, hardware firewalls, uh, and for the last six seven years, focused on uh, exclusively in terms of cloud internet filtering, and that's what we're going to talk about today. That's our business. That's our speciality. Okay, um, so um, let's. Let's press on. So as I mentioned already, we are quite unique in, in that we are only selling the Flash Start uh, offer through dealers. And the the dealer you have uh, that uh, you're very familiar with in, in Greece is Expatite. We don't sell direct. You can come to us uh, directly to ask for advice. You can come to us um, and ask for help. Uh, that will all be shared in a transparent way with your partner, Expatite. Well, we want to be very easy to deal with. Um, you know, we are based um, um, uh, reasonably near you uh, in northern Italy. Um, in the city of Cesena, which is about an hour outside of Bologna. Bologna being the oldest university in Europe, uh, and it's a center also for where we take a lot of the, the technical expertise we have in developing our products and our service. Everything you're going to see this afternoon, apart from one of the filters, which I will comment on at the time, is developed in-house. It's European technology, and we're very proud of that. Uh, Francesco, did you want to come in to make a comment there? Yeah, we are based, uh, uh, okay, please mute the uh, microphone, David, to, to avoid echo. We are, uh, uh, we are very close to Rimini. I think that uh, most of you uh, know, uh, know Rimini very well. It's, uh, it's a very interesting uh, place for uh, summer holiday. We are in uh, northern Adriatic Sea. And uh, uh, 
Everything uh, was built uh, with uh, GDPR compliance, so uh, we are Italian, we are European, so everything is okay for, for GDPR and uh, it's a very important uh, situation to grant, to grant uh, a correct way to to protect uh, uh, your companies and uh, government and uh, schools because lots of schools and governments uh, require uh, uh, to be GDPR compliant. It's, uh, it's very important because uh, uh, most of our competitor, for example, DNS filter in the, uh, in the USA and uh, Cisco umbrella are not fully compliant with uh, GDPR. And I think that uh, together we can be uh, much more credible with uh, public institutions, uh, schools, uh, schools and government, because uh, uh, being uh, GDPR compliance, it's uh, it's a very important uh, um, uh, point uh, in advance. Secondly, secondly, we developed, we sell uh, to distributor, and uh, uh, we produce entirely our blacklist. Most of our uh, competitors buy blacklist all over the world so uh, you can use international blacklist we are european and uh, we have tuned in about 12 years 12 year, 13 years to be uh, correct uh, we have tuned as best our blacklist database so we can avoid uh, uh, an impressive part of false positive that are causing some issues to our competitors uh, you can filter with the confidence and uh, you will see uh, now the live uh, presentation and uh, some interesting uh, tips. Uh, I want to remember that uh, uh, Xpatit, Xpatit uh, has just reached uh, uh, the most important level of uh, certification of uh, Flash Dart and uh, you can uh, trust with uh, full confidence on Xpatit uh, support and uh, uh, integration technology. Thank you, David. Okay, thanks, Francesco. So um, uh, we're gonna we, we haven't got that many slides. We're gonna we're gonna uh, produce a demo as well for you this afternoon, uh, but we want to you know give you enough to understand what we do and how you can work with us through Expatite. So um, just moving to the next slide. Okay, just going to try and advance these. Okay, I think I might have just accidentally made my slides a bit smaller there. Okay, is that still fine, Francesco? The slides, yeah. I hope so. It's All okay. Right. It's so, so David. It's okay. everyone on the call today um, is is a reseller. A distributor of some form and you're all coming from slightly different places and, and i want to explain how flash start is a value to you and the kinds of problems that we are usually uh, uh helping our, our resellers with um and so I've, I've kind of divided up those on the call who recognize themselves as resellers of premium firewalls the sonic walls the fortinet the sofos um, which are characterized by uh, high-end um, hardware uh, with a large price tag producing advanced filtering features and also those who are resellers of open firewalls of more value routers microtik tp link ubiquity being good examples of that okay uh, and, and and you know many of you may be selling both of these um, because there, there's plenty of room in the market but but what i want to uh comment upon is four things four things about how we create uh, an important connection for all of these all of these types of vendors but in a slightly different way so um, on the on the left hand side I've got some of the typical challenges that bring resellers towards us you know and, and, and a classic one being the you know continued expansion of small offices trains buses IOT and then the need to have some kind of filtering um within small environments where premium firewalls are just too expensive you know we're talking about introduction of our sort of technology on top of uh, routers and I'll, I'll come more to explain this in, in a moment for just five euros a month and upwards 
Okay, it's dramatically cheaper than than these guys, uh, and, and it can be part of the same story as a Sonic Wall, a Fortinet, and so forth. Okay, I can explain more about that. And and for those who are reselling, uh, facing the same challenges, but reselling this much cheaper technology, which is which is highly functional in many ways, um, um, there there is um, Francesco. I've lost my screen. It's uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Um, um, there is uh, um, the possibility to add professional filtering to the uh, uh, the user experience. So, uh, Microtik, TP Link, and others like it are characterised by a lack of sophistication or very difficult setup in terms of this filtering. Okay, uh, so that's the first point. That's the first point. Addressing the needs of small offices, an excellent price point. Secondly, the need for advanced filtering. Now, you get very advanced filtering in resellers, in premium firewalls typically, but what you don't get is um, is aggressive pricing. So we are typically 50-80% cheaper out of the box. So even if you have firewalls deployed for the likes of Sophos and Fortinet, if you add our filtering to that, um, it's much cheaper, and then you're able to operate cross-platform, so you can mix your Fortinet firewalls with Mikrotix and so forth, maybe addressing larger offices, small offices. And conversely, for the guys down here in the in the value uh, segment, you're opening brand new markets, bringing integration of Active Directory to to the kinds of technologies which have never offered that that form of technology. And we're going to talk more about that full Active Directory integration. And, and just quickly. Of course, as you reach upgrade points on the premium firewalls, it's a natural transition point to explore the technologies. And for you as a business, we are about providing you tools so you can create your own services under white label, and you can monthly price those. So you're developing software as a service or security as a service and selling those to your customer. And as we all know, the more services and products your customers take from you, the more likely they are not to move to other resellers. So lots of reasons for looking at our kind of technology and lots of different reasons why people come to us. Okay, let me move on. Um, so our approach is is, is really quite simple. Um, we are a cloud-based technology. There's no software to install. There's no new hardware to install. You can take any existing router and by making some small changes to the DNS, I think we've lost the slides again, Francesca, uh, making some small changes to the DNS, point it towards the flash dark cloud. So in Greece, you're gonna you're gonna find that's an excellent uh, cloud service. It's fully highly available and redundant, and it, it'll have a latency time a delay of just a few milliseconds, something like about 25 milliseconds. You can measure that in the tools, and then and then um, uh, you can configure the security policies to block ransomware and other forms of of malware and also forms of content. And we'll show you how that works actually in the tool shortly. And optionally, you can integrate with Active Directory to form a more granular form uh, of filtering, uh, moving down from, from filtering the whole building or, or groups of people, sales and operations, to individual named users and, and defining profiles for what they can and can't do, and what filtering they have applied to them. And we all call this the creation of safe web surfing. You know, so if, if you're getting to know us at all, you'll see that we hold the world record for the fastest provisioning of this kind of filtering technology or any filtering technology as far as, far as I'm aware. And you can watch the provisioning take place in 23 uh, milliseconds. It's a bit longer when you add 23 seconds, I beg your pardon. You, it's a bit longer when you add Active Directory, which has got, you know, uh, set up on it. But but this is a very easy to implement technology Um and very cost effective. So uh, David, let David. Yes, please, Francesco. Just to share, if you can move a moment, okay. Just to share, could you please write down in the chat who is using uh, Microsoft Active Directory 
in companies, in uh, school, who is using uh, to your customer Active Directory, uh, Microsoft Active Directory uh, in the chat. If you can please uh, write down who is using, uh, uh, we'd like uh, to make a live uh, statistic of the number of people that uh, uh, are using uh, Microsoft Active Directory. Okay, if you can please uh, write here in the chat thank you just uh, just to uh, to understand uh, uh, the number of uh, people interested uh, in active directory because uh, we have a special version a special version that uh, can fit uh, uh, many uh, enterprise and uh, uh, schools or a government um, scenarios okay cost us whoa all of our client uh, Manols, Manols, for example, sorry uh, if I have uh, wrongly pronounced the name, is using uh, Active Directory in all of our clients. Okay, we have uh, the right way to filter granularly. We'll see uh, later, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's important to understand that uh, most of you are using Active Directory. Thank you, David. David. Okay, okay. So, in fact, Francesco, I, 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 put, I put a case study in on the UK schools on Active Directory, so we'll, we'll come to that. Um, so, just moving on. Um, so, what this means is after you've applied Flash Start, which will not affect the performance, um, that everyone who is internally on the Wi-Fi network, whether it be a laptop, whether it be a, a mobile phone using the net using the Wi-Fi network, is protected and filtered. The filtering is done on the router, so it's it's actually quite, it's actually very difficult to circumvent. Um, um, you can't just go in the stub if you do if you do an IP address to go somewhere directly and subvert DNS. As soon as you click on anything, you're forced back into the into the protection of Flash Start. Um, so um, I would like to emphasize that, that we're including filtering on phone applications. So if, if, you, if you have a Facebook application on your phone, it includes filtering those kind of things as well, okay? And, and when you've applied Active Directory, it applies the policies held in Active Directory, whether they be held locally or whether they're held in the cloud, okay, depending on your deployment. So it's giving you with and without full granularity control okay so i think the best way to really get a feel for what we're doing here is to actually look at the tool um so francesco do you, do you want to take a few minutes just to break this up um do you want to use one of your instances to make a demo or i've got one set up here i've got everything i've got everything go, i'll go on mute then you make a you make a little demo thanks. at your end okay thanks thanks here we are so okay now I will share uh, the screen. Uh, okay, screen share, okay, just a minute. I wanna ask you uh, the confirmation if uh, you can see my screen, it's coming just, uh, just a second uh, in order to, okay. Okay, screen share. Here we are, oh, it's okay. It should arrive in a few seconds, okay. Can you, can you see my screen? Huh? At the moment, can you see it, David? Okay, screen okay, okay. Can you hear me? Dimitris, can you hear me now? Okay, it's small. Uh, there is a button to to center the screen to to the top, okay. Can you see uh, the screen uh, at well? At the moment, okay, screen okay. Okay. David, can you see my screen? Yes, I, yes, I can, Francesco. It's a little bit smaller than normal. Okay. It's a little, so, uh, okay, just, just a minute. Let me share it again in a different uh, way. Okay, let me choose the, the browser share, okay? How is going now? Better? It, it's still coming. Should arrive in a few seconds. Don't see it yet. Can you see it now? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. No. Just a moment. 
screen share. Okay. I think it's coming through. It's the same size it was before. Um, it, What's about now? Yeah, that's. I think that's. I think that's better. Yes. Yes. Okay. I What's about now? Uh, it's about the same. Okay. I, th it's really I think cool. just just go ahead and uh, and, and okay. explain carefully. Thank you, David. Okay. So I'll mute. Thanks. Okay. So uh, let's see in uh, just uh, five minutes uh, our uh, our infrastructure. Consider uh, we are a cloud service. Our system is uh, translated in uh, four languages, but uh, no problem in case to add also a, a Greek uh, translation because uh, it's very uh, very flexible. When uh, you jump on board, the system immediately uh, show uh, some nice uh, some nice report. For example, blocked side by category, granted, allowed side sites by category, geo geo analysis. You can see the number of uh, uh, the website that uh, have been visited for uh, for the different uh, part of the world and. Uh, malware uh, malware infected uh, blocked okay so uh, these are real uh, data we take data to make the demo but it's uh, quite normal nowadays that uh, network uh, are infected uh, by malware ransomware and by a uh, very bad content it's very easy to click uh, to click on the uh, details and then to have a look at the details for example i can uh, i can open uh, the blocked uh, games uh, website here we can see the um, details of the blocked website and the number of of requests for example uh, let me open uh, the dating website network are uh, today plenty of uh, accesses to dating website okay badu tinder bumble and uh, so on Pornography, let's not open it. Proxy and uh, uh, gambling. I can uh, schedule a report uh, to be received by email, for example, every day, every month, every every week. Normally, we suggest to schedule a report on Monday to, uh, to analyze uh, the week before. Then we have uh, a lot of nice uh, report. You can switch, for example, to the uh, block aside uh, for macro category. Here we go. Okay, so sites are uh, grouped into a bigger category. For example, uh, you can see the allowed, uh, the allowed uh, website uh, by category. Okay, the good site, uh, online services, software technologies, search engine, CDM, Facebook, if you grant Facebook to your user, advertising companies, and so on. It's possible to, uh, to browse, for example, CDN and uh, see the, the number of a single website uh, requested uh, per day, per week, or maybe per year. I can query the the last 15 days the system answer immediately uh, we use a uh, big data uh, infrastructure so our report should be quite uh, quite fast you can export report in uh, pdf and uh, you can for example uh, analyze uh, malware uh, of uh, last year uh, last month you can do uh, what you want with your data you can export information and it's very important uh, to uh, to measure uh, the quality of uh, the internet and to um, have a look at uh, uh, what happens uh, okay into network these are the details consider that uh, uh, any reports every report uh, shows shows grouped data so you will never see what uh, where where a single person surf you will only see uh, data per company per school per uh, per government so it's fully gdpr compliant how can i set up system category blocking we have a dedicated page the page uh, is called uh, lists. You have uh, different macro category. You have about 20 macro category. 
and uh, then then each one that's open for example uh, malware threads is uh, uh, divided into uh, single categories i can block the whole macro category or if you prefer i can block just a few category i can select what i want to do let's have a look at uh, the uh, unwanted website odul chat dating uh, dns proxies very dangerous right now drugs games online auction pornography i can block pornography but for example i can grant the odul site during night time for a family for example if you work with family, you need uh, to block any pornography and any odul site, but maybe uh, the father wanna access odul site during night time. It's possible to schedule a policy, so uh, you can uh, uh, teach the system to block pornography, for example, from seven o'clock to uh, 11 o'clock, and uh, when, when children go to bed, go to bed the system will grant the access to, uh, to Odul sites. So it's possible to combine blocked, allowed, and uh, time-based uh, content filter. Just to understand, uh, is everything clear until now, or uh, should I repeat, uh, or should, should I repeat uh, some part of the presentation? Is everything clear? If you can please uh, chat me and uh, Tell me in the chat uh, if everything is uh, is clear until now, or if I have to kindly repeat. Okay, fantastic. Uh, two interesting tools. Two interesting tools. First of all, you can uh, query the system to understand wh uh, which category um, our website is uh, classified. If I type playboy.com. Let me mark everything. I can uh, see that uh, it's an unwanted website. It's an other site. The server is located uh, in the United States of America, and uh, it is not uh, whitelisted. Why? It's possible to override uh, the global system category by specifying into the, the personal whitelist uh, some exceptions. For example, if I decide uh, to block a social network, I can override uh, the system behavior by putting, for example, LinkedIn.com. In this way, I can make an exception just for LinkedIn, uh, leaving all other uh, social network uh, websites blocked. It's also possible to, uh, to insert some uh, personal blacklist. If you want to block uh, site.com, uh, you can do it from scratch. The system is already available to, to block bad contents uh, from uh, search engine, uh, from search engines. For example, if you try to search uh, nudity or uh, pornography images, in Google and Bing, uh, Flash Start will automatically cut out from the videos or from the pictures or from the search result uh, the, uh, the unwanted uh, website. Another uh, interesting feature is the how to fix HTTPS error. If you know, when you block an SSL secure site and uh, nowadays every website is under HTTPS, the browser would uh, complain by showing uh, uh, some warning about the certificate. We have developed uh, our own certification authority, and it is possible by importing the certificate, by importing the, the authority into a client browser, it's possible to automatically avoid uh, the browser warning. If you use Microsoft Active Directory, the importation is uh, totally, totally automated through group policy object. But okay, let's go on, geoblocking. It's possible to, to block some, some part, some, uh, some continents or uh, some countries in order to enforce the malware protection. 
Just a question. Do you know which is uh, the country with the biggest number of uh, malware infections? Do you know the, the, uh, the most dangerous country where uh, malware, ransomware, and uh, crypto locker come from? Try to guess uh, into the chat. Try, try to guess. Uh, it's, a, it's just a question to, to understand. Nigeria, mm, quite far. Russia, Russia, Greece, no, <laughs> not Greece. No, no, Greece is uh, safe. <laughs> Greece is safe. China, maybe, but China is quite, it's, <laughs> it's Russia. Russia is the uh, top rated malware infection. If you have customers which do not need uh, to access Russian website, you simply need to deny it and uh, you will cut out the 90-95% of the infection. If you have customer that need uh, to reach Russia, you need to leave it. Can I suggest, uh, please block uh, anonymous proxy at uh, IP level and uh, block satellite connection. Satellite connection are often uh, used uh, by hackers or by uh, IT uh, pirates. It's very important. The report section has been already uh, listed. Network session, it's uh, quite interesting. You can integrate flash start with uh, with uh, lots of router but uh, uh, to be uh, to be clear you can integrate flash start with any router because uh, you have a manual uh, configuration for any kind of installation but for example if you use microtik or uh, uh, for example with microtik you have an automatic an automatic deployment uh, uh, provisioning uh, procedure. It's, uh, it's automatic. For example, let me validate. We already offer uh, a ready-made script. You can simply copy the script. The system automatic automatically uh, can add a redirection for DNS queries. So if uh, someone try to to change DNSs and maybe putting uh, Google DNSs, Microtik will automatically bounce back to the flash start DNSs, uh, the queries. Uh, you can copy the script and then you can pass into a uh, Winbox, the most, uh, the most uh, used uh, uh, Microtik uh, uh, connection and management terminal. And then if you make a connection test, the system uh, waits, uh, kindly waits uh, for the microtic uh, synchronization and then uh, the system say, okay, it's configured and uh, you can start filtering. Just to understand how many, how many of you are using microtic to, uh, as a router into your network? Just to make, uh, how many? 100%. <laughs> 100%, how many? Wow. Wow, let's continue. Everyone uses using Microtik. So, it's okay. Wow, everyone. So, it's okay. Uh, we measured, we measured the, uh, the Microtik synchronization in just 23 seconds. I can uh, demonstrate uh, just, uh, uh, Sophia, uh, let me take just 30 seconds because uh, I am uh, quite proud of uh, the the stuff uh, we made on Microtik, I want to demonstrate uh, through through the, through the video a real installation. We measured the, the installation in just uh, in just uh, uh, twenty three seconds. Okay, can you see my page right now? I don't know if you can see my page. Okay, it's okay. So. Okay, okay, let's try. Let's try. This is a Microtik installation. It's a recorded video, but it's a live video. It's a live video. Password. Copy the script. Mark redirection. I lost three seconds. Continue. Test configuration. Okay, Microtik. Pass the script. Okay. Finished. 
23 seconds. Did you see? It's uh, really, really, really fast. You can uh, deploy in, uh, in Microtech Network, you can enforce your protection level and uh, you can really, uh, I think, uh, benefit of a plus value with, uh, with uh, Flash Start. I have finished just to uh, just last uh, two um, uh, tips, historical data. You can search within last three months. You can have a look at your DNS uh, uh, query by, uh, by query. You can search uh, between uh, system profiles. You can search between uh, uh, categories uh, and action uh, blocked and allowed. And uh, uh, Okay, you can uh, perform a real-time analysis, so you can see the uh, what is uh, passing uh, through our DNS uh, uh, filter from what is being blocked. The customer area is uh, very easy. You can allocate licenses, ask for uh, support, contact, uh, expect it for for prices and. Uh, for everything you want. You can also uh, download our sales tool, uh, make, uh, uh, make automatic uh, uh, DM uh, to your customer, uh, obtain a promo card, a promo mail, promo link. Uh, mm, gonna come, you have, gonna come on to those. But yeah. actually, actually, Francesca, go, go, go ahead and show the, the promo mail concept. That, that'll, that'll fit pretty well, actually. Yeah, okay. You can scale, you can scale, you can create, uh, your own uh, campaign in just uh, two minutes. You can uh, select your target market, for example, schools, residential companies, uh, reseller, or uh, for example, a generic one. You can uh, upload uh, your logo, upload your contact. The system already is uh, shipped uh, with banner, okay? You can have a, a ready-made text. Uh, you can change what you want. And the uh, system automatically attach, uh, attaches uh, a landing page to get your leads. Then you can uh, download the email HTML, or if you prefer, you can send the email to you or uh, to your customer directly through the system. In this way, if someone uh, proceeds uh, to register, the lead uh, will be automatically locked to you and uh, will automatically be chained to your company. We can also provide a complete marketing tools to help you to sell. So in some way, we can share our experience towards a customer to improve and to speed up because it's important, your business campaign. Mm, that's uh, great, Francesca. That's okay. great. Okay. Just yep. last uh, stuff. Um, this is uh, a, the standard filter. Then uh, we have uh, the Active Directory granular filter. It's not time uh, to show, but we can plan another, uh, another webinar after Christmas, I think. In the granular filter, you can uh, uh, match different profiles uh, to different uh, group and users. For example, uh, you can uh, say in a school, teachers and employee, can access Facebook and uh, uh, YouTube, but uh, pupils, students cannot, cannot access. You can grant the granular filtering options uh, through Active Directory. It would uh, take time, but if someone is interested, uh, uh, it's possible to plan uh, uh, mm -hmm. another webinar and another content on Active Directory. Yeah, I think, I think we'll even push push the time of that today but I was just going to say before you took that down Francesco oh it's okay that um, um, because it's multi-tenant when you are providing a service to your end user they can make adjustments on the filter they can run reports but they've got no access to the administration side um, so so it truly it truly is a genuine platform designed for you as a reseller providing services to your end user, if that's the way you want to run it. And uh, and the same platform here is built, if we had time, we, we could show you um, for provisioning of, say, ISP services to homes, managed service provider, 
services to to you know manage environments so um there's quite it's very rich in terms of how it deploys okay so back back to the slides um let me see okay uh okay so we've talked a bit about this actually deployment use cases uh um you know uh, uh Classic business and government, uh, lots of different profiling up here. You know, we've got about 10,000 schools across Europe deployed in. Um, we have a lot of well, all sorts of kind of classic things um, from hotels. When, when you go online, you'll find hotels have a special uh, kind of a price list, which is which is based on a cheaper license because of non-occupancy. You'll find we have... Um, um, uh, things for uh, vehicles as well, say say a bus or a carriage of a train, uh, you know, for licensing that. You'll find campsites, you'll find quite a few variations with the pricing change to fit the to fit the model, okay? Service providers are mentioned already, including things like filtering behind the NAT. Um, uh, and and we, we've tried to be quite uh, smart in thinking about the fact that we are just a cloud-based tool. We're deploying onto a router. We're deploying onto maybe a Mikrotik device or some other device. So we don't replicate the kind of features you find on those. We improve upon the native devices that some of those vendors offer and we allow it to go cross-platform so so um, uh, for example uh, blocking of non-DNS type things like torrent uh, you'll find, you know, we know very well about how to use the the level seven filtering in a Mikrotik, for example, um, or other forms of video streaming um, um, uh, constraints, so that so that high definition television doesn't doesn't consume all the available bandwidth. Okay, by prioritization. Okay, and, and API integration. Okay, so I'm I'm just going to skip over that because it's a huge area, and we'd rather you came to us and we work with uh, yourselves and. Uh, expat here to work. So retail, retailer, you know, many big retailers. Here we have quite a quite an unusual one. It's in Malaysia, 150 different um, locations, which are effectively coffee shops. And Mineski bring together perfect gamers in the coffee shops who are professional gamers, and then they go on the road competing against other forms of gamers. So these guys, these guys demand very low latency. They need great performance. If the game gets interrupted by a bad filtering system, hey, we know about it. We never had a call from them, okay? Uh, and this particular application had very stringent regulatory requirements for the banning of, ga banning of online gambling by the Malaysian government, okay? So substitute, substitute pornography, substitute um, GDPR, you know, there's a lot of attention to detail on this kind of thing within our development um, uh, house, okay? So there, there, there's, there's one case to you. Another one, an air, airports. We do a number of airports. We do all the international airports in the in the little country of Bolivia, down in, in um, uh, Latin America, where the networks are not uh, particularly great. Um, you know, we strip out lots of adult content there. Um, strip out the problems caused by high definition TV. Um, that's all running on captive captive portals of third party technologies. Uh, you know, in that particular case, um, it's a little bit unusual. Uh, education, I mentioned already. You know, the fact that we do about ten thousand schools. So here's quite a large, um, what's essentially a, 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 a school for for teenagers and young adults. There's some kind of university stuff in that as well. Um, but this is providing services to 17,000 students across 32 buildings across four campuses, okay? Fully GDPR compliant, okay? Rolled out. This is in Italy, okay? So just some examples, you know, about the kind of work we do. Everything is about value, you know, great price and being easy to deploy and, of course, selling it and being successful through you as a, 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 a reseller. Um, Francesca already showed the concept of helping you mail your prospects, what this new offer is about. I'm going to skip over these slides, the creation of landing pages with your branded name on it. I'll skip over it. It's very intuitive. Um, we provide the ability for you to order it, it, it no charge now through um, through Expatite, your own what we call trial the box card, that the trial cards. 
They've got a unique pin number on. You can give these out trade shows. You can give them out uh, in any which way. Once the customer enters this number, they'll get a free trial of service. It'll appear on your own private dashboard. It'll appear in Expatit's dashboard. So you all know the trial's going on, and it helps you manage the process to switch on a commercial use of the system, okay? Lots of attention to details. You could attach these to the side of router boxes if you're, if you're distributing routers as well, okay? And when they arrive uh, with the person installing them and they put this number in, you automatically know about it, okay? It's chained to you. The number, the number is, unique, is a unique sequence for you, okay? Um, so that, that's really coming towards the end of our um, session session today, you know, and, and we've we've gone a bit longer than we uh, we'd actually planned for. But I, I hope you've you've got from this that um, we're credible and and you know a, a bit of feel for what we're doing here, um, um, and the sales cycle on this is pretty short. So um, we're offering you uh, the ability to go out and promote this immediately, uh, you know, and take a 20% discount off the prices that um, uh, Expatit are, are going to provide you with. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to provide that that saving for, for Expatit. They've got some great prices already for you. So I, 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 I encourage you to, to look at this quickly. I know it's the 10th of December, um, but... Um, um, you know, we we regularly receive new leads and close them uh, in a matter of hours and just a few days. I, I'd say, you know, within two weeks is, you know, towards the outside of the kind of the sweet spot of getting new leads in. Um, so w with that, and um, uh, maybe we can take some questions and also ask you to, to fill in the feedback form. Yeah. Um, so we'd like to take some feedback and just tune this uh, for your needs. And if you'd like also to see further things, for example, more of an active directory demo, you know, we can come on and take a smaller part of the community and do that. If you'd like to go deeper into specific Microtik features, if you're very into Microtik, do that. Um, we will work with Expati to tune the agenda. Uh, and no, no problem at all about running a, a set of these kind of webinars. Um, you'll find us very easy to approach. You'll find the help desk very easy to set up time with to help you and help your skills transfer we are not about selling you lots of services we're not about selling you hardware we're about helping you enable um you know content filtering which which is very important for for a number of a number of different use case industries uh, and helping you to do malware blocking okay very effectively so um that that's what i wanted to say i'm gonna i'm gonna hand over to francesco now to make some some closing comments yeah thanks david so uh, we already have uh, two questions but uh, if you have any question please write down in the chat and uh, we will uh, uh, be happy uh, to reply two things uh, by tomorrow, we will send out uh, the video registration. You can share into your social network. Uh, uh, you can watch again. It's very important for us uh, to improve our explanation, our slide, and everything. So, uh, I am. Uh, uh, I would be really pleased to ask you to fill just four questions in order to improve uh, our skill and our contents. It's. Uh, it's very important uh, right now to have uh, uh, your uh, feedback. Uh, actually, you are uh, displaying the uh, survey summer, summary. You can uh, uh, please uh, proceed. With, uh, we will be uh, very, very keen. There are just uh, four questions. And uh, let me start answering uh, your question. Krostas, uh, some minutes before, he asked me, let me clarify something, please. The only way to allow specific workstation to access specific uh, services is only by the use of, of Microsoft IT Directory. No. If you use Microsoft IT Directory, you can filter granularly based upon a group and user. But if you have some, uh, some work group, uh, some work group environment, uh, such as peer-to-peer -peer network, okay, just PC, you can create uh, up to five different profiles and uh, flash start uh, will return you five different uh, couple of uh, dns for example uh, 184 uh, 185 186 and uh, so on you can set up on each machine uh, the correct couple of uh, 
DNSs corresponding to the filter you want uh, to grant. For example, if you have uh, a small customer with uh, three machines uh, without Microsoft uh, Active Directory server, you can simply create a three profile, three profile with uh, three different uh, couple of uh, DNS servers, and uh, you will configure the first couple in machine number one, the second in machine number two, number two, and uh, the third in machine number three. So uh, you can uh, create uh, a different filtering group corresponding to different to different uh, filtering policies. Let me know, uh, Christos. Uh, Costas, sorry, Costas, if I have correctly uh, correctly answered uh, to your question. If uh, someone else, uh, someone else would like to would like to uh, to ask uh, something uh, while completing uh, the survey, I will be uh, very, very, very glad to reply. So please continue answering. Uh, to the the survey, it's a, it's a very special moment for us. It's it's a very big opportunity in Greece uh, together with Expat. It's so uh, would be very uh, interesting to to understand uh, uh, your feedback. Okay, yes, I believe so. So, just uh, uh, how many profiles uh, can we have? If you use Active Directory, there is no limit of. Uh, Profile. If you use the standard version, I think, but uh, I need uh, to check. Uh, you can create up to 10 different filtering profiles, 10 different combination between blacklist, geoblocking, and uh, so on. I think uh, 10. <clears throat> Please continue to answer. And uh, if someone would like to receive uh, prices uh, for expatit please uh, fill the last uh, uh, survey uh, you have the possibility to have uh, a free call back from expatit uh, and from uh, sofia's uh, staff in order uh, to understand something more about uh, uh, prices and uh, uh, business model uh, if there are some ISPs and YSPs, uh, we have uh, as david said before a very special configuration to embed, to embed filter in your connectivity, please, uh, please ask uh, with uh, confidence to Sophia about ISP and YSP uh, price model. We have everything you want. Thomas uh, is asking, is there a way to filter incoming email senders uh, from their DNS, probably uh, with a bridge between mail client and Flaster DNS? It depends. It depends if you uh, use an internal uh, mail server such as Microsoft Exchange. I think that uh, some partners made an, in, uh, made an integration with Exchange and our DNS filter. They use our web filter to uh, double check uh, the incoming uh, uh, mail uh, server that is uh, uh, sending the mail to your customer. Please uh, uh, write an email to support. You can register a free trial. You can register a free trial on cloud.flash.com if you want. And uh, uh, you can also have a look at uh, um, our uh, knowledge base and uh, at our frequently asked questions. So Thomas, uh, if you run an inside uh, uh, mail server, uh, you can use our DNS as a sort of blacklist to reject to reject communication from uh, blacklisted uh, uh, mail server. Okay, 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 Sophia, to, to okay. If you can please uh, write uh, your email uh, to receive uh, prices, we will pass uh, the whole survey pools uh, to, to Sophia. If you have other technical questions or uh, some uh, particular doubt, here we are to help you, really, both for technical and for commercial. Uh, few people are still missing uh, to complete uh, the survey. Please proceed because it's a very important uh, way for us to improve our contents and our topics. Please, okay. Sophia has just uh, written uh, his email address. Is there uh, someone else uh, uh, that needs uh, to ask something, uh, some questions or uh, something else as you want? You can write down in the chat. Uh, the video recording uh, with uh, the slideshow will uh, come uh, uh, by tomorrow. 
I'm watching uh, the red pole. I can see uh, the single, uh, the single uh, survey, but uh, really the <laughs> the level of uh, the contents is uh, really high. David, I don't know if it is uh, why Christmas is approaching, but really. We are getting a very, very, very nice result. I can answer a lot of questions for sales policy. Yes, please write with full confidence for both uh, sales policies and uh, commercial support with uh, Sophia. Costas, is there a knowledge base or a training video? And uh, if so, where can we get access to them? No problem. Please register, dear Costas, to cloud dot flastart dot com with your email address you are already joined uh, to uh, expect it and uh, just after registration you can have a look at our guides um, how to's and uh, uh, video everything is inside and uh, there is a chat so uh, you can ask uh, uh, really whatever you want someone else is still missing uh, to complete the survey, just two minutes uh, to finish, please. Uh, it's very important for us. Okay, David, if you want to add, uh, if you want to add something else, Sophia, if you want to add some uh, some closing comments, really. Uh, no, just uh, thanks everyone's time and feedback. It's much appreciated. And as, as I say, um, if there's any feedback about running a further deep dive or any aspect of routers filtering um, Active Directory will be delighted to to do that for you thanks a lot thank you thank you for your time okay th thank you again Sophia for the possibility to proud. to introduce this to your uh, your reseller community really proud, uh, proud uh, to work with you, with you. Sophia, Sophia. We will plan another webinar, um, maybe at the end of January, about uh, Active Directory uh, integration, because uh, lots of people are asking about uh, this topic, but we need uh, to set up to plan um, a dedicated webinar uh, about this. Uh, we leave uh, the session open uh, for other uh, five minutes uh, to complete the survey. Please, please, do, please uh, kindly do it, because it's very important for us. Bye from Italy. Have a good Christmas and uh, yeah. remember. Thank you. Uh, All the best. You have the 20% of discount uh, for any order coming uh, to uh, expected uh, by December. Okay. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas.